but look, first playtime, next homework, and then we can do playtime again, okay? As COVID came in, you know, after school programs, because school wasn't happening, um, after school programs kind of stopped. Um, and then Cleveland Public Schools reached out to programs like ours and was like, we need help. Like, we're going into this process of doing online learning, but like, we don't have the space to take in kids. You know, we can't take in, you know, large groups of kids. Help us. Sitting or standing, it might be easier. I couldn't get nowhere with him. He's autistic. So for him to sit down on a computer at home, um, he would be telling me the class is over. I didn't even know how to get on a computer. Still don't. So they said we have a learning pod that he can go there and um, he can get the help he needs. Our learning pod's been up and running all school year. We supervise them, we sit down with them and we help them. Sometimes we'll sit through their classes with them and make sure that they're opening the book they might need or we might you know, make sure that they heard their teacher right and are participating the way they should be. Who is that? Really, it's about creating this structured environment here, you know, to give them a safe place, an easy place that they know that they can, almost like a school environment, right? Giving them a school environment where they know they can raise their hand and someone's gonna come over and actually be able to help them. So one of the great things that they get here at the Learning Pod that they might not get at home is they still get to be together in some kind of way. Yeah, you're right. I can't believe they do all this. I'm grateful and I'm thankful for this place, especially helping him. He needs that. A lot of little kids got lost. I mean, they're sitting there. A lot of people probably don't have computers or have internet or people like me that even know how to get on the internet. They really care about the people in this community. Yeah. It's always about, you know, looking at what else can you give that family or that child? It's not about just, oh, they're here for their learning pod, so we're gonna get from eight to four, and then suddenly it's all shut off, right? They go to school, we send them home. I mean, every kid here gets sent home with like a report on how they did that day. And there's so much communication back and forth with the family that we really get to know these families and therefore get to know what their other needs potentially could be. I felt like I hit the lottery. I felt like I hit the lottery because again, he's gonna go and he's gonna get the help he needs, okay? Because I couldn't do it for him, you know? I'm blessed for those teachers in there.